Hello, YouTube. What are we doing today? What's going on, everybody? Hello and welcome back to our Wednesday night, Days Gone, expert gameplay series. How the fuck are you, folks? Real quick, with me this evening is my lovely assistant and partner in crime, Claire <laughs> Weaver of the Days Gone podcast, a.k.a. 8-Bit Terror. Hello, ma'am. Hello. How's it going? I, I didn't fuck up the introduction like I did on the feedback loop last night. <laughs> <laughs> well done. <laughs> yeah, thanks. All right, so let me say hello to everyone. Who do we have with us tonight? Jeremy McGee, my brother from another mother. What's going on, man? How the fuck are you? Psycho Ghost Rider, hello and welcome. James Guan, hey there, man. What's up? Joe Schmo 0216, our channel assistant is in the house. Let's kill some freaks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Sean Kohler, you're making me choke, man. <laughs> I was going to say hi to you. Uh, Claire and I are actually just getting over colds. Like, I, it, It's hit me less severely than it has her. But we, but it's hit you for like a week, and I'm almost time. over it. Yeah, I've, I, I had yeah, it for like three I'm on days. like day 10 now, and I'm still Shit. actually kind of sick. I think you're just dying. It is possible. I mean, it happens to, you know, literally everyone who drinks water dies. I think you should just stop drinking water. Yeah, that's my plan. Yeah, right. Anyway, hi, Sean. What's up, man? And Will Giles is with us. Hello, Will. And CJ Voorhees, 93. What's up, Mr. Voorhees? Happy Halloween. And Tom Moose is with us. Yeah, what's up, Tom? All right, fuck yeah. We have said hello to everyone. Let's fucking rock and roll, man. Let's we are it. live, right? Y'all can hear us. Y'all can see us. How's the audio, by the way? Joe says, yeah, you know, dealing with no bed tonight. <laughs> Friendly mod reminder to hashtag fucked up Jack. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. If you would, please, folks. Uh, oh, shit. We've already got 14 people here with us. Hey, everybody. Uh, make sure that you uh, like the video, please, obviously. And also uh, reach up there to your chat column and select live chat. Take it off of top chat and select live chat. That way you can see and participate in all of the chat. Tom says, uh, Joe, I've been missing Days Gone 2. Joined both of these fools' channels right as they start <laughs> playing other games. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm sorry. Aww. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm still on Days Gone at, at just once a week now, but, you know. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Let me actually hang on. I'm going to I'm gonna have you read Jeremy's comment here. Oh, shit. Because I'm not, I'm not going to. I do not participate in the dad jokes. <laughs> yeah, I mean it makes sense when when you don't when you don't think about it. It makes a lot of sense if you don't think about it. <laughs> Look at Bruce Lee. He loved Wata and he died young. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all know Bruce Lee's favorite drink, right? Mm. Wata <laughs> <laughs> It's not quite as good when I have like a sort of sick voice. Mm. Uh Sean says you can only survive three days without water. Is it three days without water? Yeah, I guess that, that's about right, isn't it? Yeah. Koala bears don't drink water. They get all their fluids that they need from the food that they eat. So, uh, hmm. Okay. Oh, we've got... Uh, yeah, dang it. My bad, my bad. Yeah, it's okay. The volume issues. Oh, you had the volume turned up when you were in here playing Fallout New Vegas earlier. Shh, don't tell people I was playing it on my time <laughs> away from the stream. <laughs> uh-huh, I know. I was also playing Doom. Yeah, she was. I walked in here earlier. <laughs> She's fucking playing some you Doom came 2016. In. I thought you came in because you heard me yelling, How are you going to shoot me now, bitch? Only one fucking arm. Is everything okay? What's wrong? Actually, there's no one here. Okay. I heard you yelling. I, I couldn't tell quite what you were saying. That was but what I, said. I, I heard you engaging Actually, in violence we of some sort. Everything. I mean, we could always use more meds, sterile bandages, instruments. So I actually should have yeah. done this one differently. I should have picked up this mission before going to clear the infestation zone at Sherman's camp. I, yeah, I actually just forgot. Of, I normally do that, but I forgot this time. Yeah, you know, when they didn't have any anesthesia or uh, did we get any feedback yet on the audio? Or how it looks, how it sounds, all that stuff? Uh, no one has commented. Okay, well, uh, but <laughs> that's probably a good thing. commenting on our water conversation. <laughs> so yeah, they, can hear they can hear us. <laughs> yeah, okay. Fair enough. Sean says, you better yeah, post those yeah, vids, Claire. Uh -oh. I wasn't sure. I'll see what I wasn't I can do. recording. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she was actually just gaming for fun, yeah. Tom says audio is good. Thank Outstanding. Thanks, Tom. Yeah, it was one of those moments where it's like, ah, I probably have like 20 minutes. Maybe I can yeah. knock out Let a mission or two. Let me go kill some shit real quick. Yeah. Joe says, LOL, that's Spornicus Rex. Reminds me of a lesson from a class in high school about marketing. Apparently, there was a study done to see how much misinformation was able to scare people. Mm. They made flyers that said, there's a dangerous chem chemical the government is adding to almost all our food called dihydrogen monoxide. <laughs> it's been proven that those who ingest this chemical will, will die. die. <laughs> Dumb mofos fell for it. Uh huh. Now, one thing, maybe someone can explain this for me, all right? <clears throat> like, I know what dihydrogen monoxide is. I, I know that's it's fucking water. H2O. But here's what I don't understand. Like, in some things, BI means two. But with dihydrogen monoxide, DI is due, bi and di, I don't... Give me an example of something that's bi. <coughs> uh... No, like seriously, give me, give me an example. <coughs> Are you talking in chemical compounds and stuff? I, or... I, fuck, I don't know, man. You're just thinking bisexual. <laughs> I guess. Uh, bicycle, says Tom Moose. Mm. Good job. Uh, it depends Thanks, on the... There we go, thank you. I, I'm guessing it depends on the um, root of the word, whether it's like Latin based or Greek based right, for like right. scientific <coughs> words and shit. And stuff, uh, yeah. Or something, I don't know. All right, let's go. Yeah, I'm ready to get in with some fucking gameplay here. What are we? <laughs> Everyone's just saying we some bye <laughs> names. Chris White is with us. Chris hey, White says Chris. there's a your mom joke in there. Um, <laughs> shit. Probably. Hang on. Did we say hi to Ethan Glide? Uh, I have not yet. Hello, sir. Well, just, just God damn wolves or runners. This actually, I think there might be wolves and runners this time. And did I'm we say sure hi yet. to Darren Thompson? I have not. Hello, Darren. Hey. And that is why I have a chat assistant tonight. Did we say hi to James Guan? <laughs> I believe so. Yes. Oh man, I'm sorry, folks. I honestly may not be able to do this tonight. You can play, and I'll talk. <laughs> oh my word. Apologies, folks. <laughs> I'm sorry. Tom Moose has the best answer. Oh, shit, what's up? <laughs> Talking about buy and die, Deacon drives a dicycle. <laughs> Not a bicycle, a dicycle. Yeah, actually, I'm. Well, fuck. Yes, I mean, Joe looked it up. I am correct. Buy comes from Latin, die from Greek. Okay. Yeah, which prefix is used would usually depend on the origin of the root of the word. Exactly as I said. Nice. Cool. I can be smart sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. Are you months. choking on your own smoke bomb, Tom? Wants to know. <laughs> Possibly. <clears throat> no, actually, I think I am uh, about to lose my fucking voice, man. I can't speak for more than a few minutes without coughing, and I have to chug water constantly to keep my throat soothed. So, yeah. Do you want to just play for a while, rest your voice? I think that's what we're going to do. The purpose of this uh, gameplay series here is just to show like advanced tactics and expert gameplay and stuff. So I'm basically just going to shut the fuck up and play some Days Gone. Okay. And uh, if anyone has questions for me in the chat. I will man the chat. She will let me know. Uh, and, of course, if I have something I need to say specifically, I'm doing this this way for a certain reason or whatever, blah, blah. Uh, we'll deal with it at that time. Your controller is red. Yeah, you need to cool. heal. Can you heal? Uh, Probably. All right, let's uh, go. Sean says sip some water or smooth whiskey. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> whiskey <laughs> no, no whiskey, no. I do have a nice cold uh, ice water right here right now, though, so we're good there. Thank you. Yep. Tom says, I'm down for that, Rex. Yeah, yeah. We're all down for you shutting the fuck up for a bit <laughs> and just like, let's just watch some days gone. Fucking assholes. <laughs> Old Lady Deep Geek is with us. Hello. I'll do shout outs, too. Uh, James wants to know, have you been singing death metal in the shower, <laughs> Rex? Not lately, no. That's usually thrash metal in the shower, right? Yeah, yeah. Helps with the scrub. Yeah, <laughs> right. Uh, Tom says, does the controller color be change based on your health? It does. Yes. Yeah. Um, I didn't notice this for the longest time. I believe the PlayStation 4 does the same, but you don't see it because the color strip is, is in at the, the front. back. Yeah. And I actually covered that up with some tape <laughs> because it annoyed the fuck out of me seeing you it would. reflected on the screen. And oh, I didn't yeah, know because sure. it was okay, blue, that makes sense, yeah. you know, when I load up the game or whatever. So I was just like, this is dumb and you can't turn it off. So I didn't notice the longest time. Uh, and then I noticed it and was like, oh, 
Mm, that's useful. So yeah, and on the PlayStation 5, it has like a little light strip around the center touchpad, like just a little bit of illumination, so you can see very easily uh, what your health is. Um, a lot of games use it where it's like, you know, green or, or in this case it's blue if you're good, and then it goes like yellow or red if you're not good. Captain Caffeine says, yep, too much of Rex singing Five Finger Death Punch. <laughs> hey, Cap, what's up? I don't think I've said hello to Cap yet. Hi. Hello, Cap. <clears throat> hello and welcome. Tom says, I never knew that. Already learning from the stream. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so Jeremy and Etherglide are both chiming in to say that die, especially in chemistry, means two. Uh, whereas by uh, means two identical but separated complex group. Oh and shit! Two okay, so it's means specific. Twice, the same thing twice. Interesting. <laughs> wow. Now explain that one for me again. <laughs> Read that out again. Well, Ether Glide says die, especially in chemistry, means two uh, from the Greek dis meaning two, and we all know where we got our chemistry from. Uh, Joe says already got twenty-eight beautiful cocksuckers watching this amazing Holy stream. Holy shit! 29 folks, now, according yeah, to my, my right iPad. On. Folks, thank you so much for joining us tonight. I just wanted to, for anyone who's just now popped in, uh, I am actually recovering from a cold, and I'm pretty sure I'm about to lose my fucking voice. So I'm just going to sip some water and play the shit out of some days gone. And uh, Chair's gonna, Claire is going to moderate the chat for me. <laughs> chair? Who's this chair, bitch? <laughs> yeah, who's yeah, this right? chair you've been who, talking who to? <laughs> you Clint Eastwood now talking to a chair. <laughs> okay, stop nobody, making, nobody stop making me cough, Rex man. laugh. Yeah, stop making me laugh. Oh. Uh, CJ says, kind of random comment here, but Carlos is pretty easy to beat, even on survival. Uh, if you have enough stamina. Too <laughs> focused on running his mouth than actually fighting. Oh. I actually have... <laughs> I think lies is Joe. Cocksuckers, not toe suckers. Oh my, Pull here we back. go. Pull back to last night's stream. Um, I have a question. Uh, a quick poll of the chat. So, how many people have actually been able to focus on what the fuck Carlos is saying during that scene versus just killing him and then being like, wait, what was he saying? Because that's me. I'm always like, wait, what? Hang on, I was busy killing you. I didn't actually get what you said. Now, these in the farmhouses here, these survivor rescues in the farmhouses, these pretty much always bug out. I don't think I've ever been able to success, successfully rescue one of these assholes in oh, these shit. farmhouses. Maybe. Get you out of there. Maybe. You're not going to make it out here. I know where there's a camp. Now no, let's see no, if it bugs no. out here in a second. Where? I'll go. Say hi to Animal Fries. Animal Fries. Hello and welcome. All right. So again, we're going to send him oh. just wherever we can for the maximum trust bonus. That's what we want. Animal, Animal Fries. Patel. Just. He'll take you in. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I hear someone. Thank you so much. He's like yelling over Deke. Uh, Animal Fries has just received his Days Gone Tell concept art book. John. He got the art book. Kick ass. Yeah. Oh, man. I love the fucking run. art book in this game. Darren Thompson wishes he had a Claire chair. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tom Moose says pro tip fight Carlos sober. <laughs> uh, Tom actually says he killed me four times on my last run and I, I wanted to this may be getting a little ahead of where you're going with the stream but yeah. um, we realized or I realized on a recent playthrough where I didn't put any uh, any of the Nero injectors mm -hmm. into focus mm -hmm. uh, sorry into stamina I got to that part it's really fucking hard if you don't have good stamina like insanely hard it's possible to do it, but it is really hard. So that could be something that you're struggling with, uh, Tom. Try putting more injectors into stamina. I always thought it was cool that you could just shoot these. Yeah. <laughs> Joe, Smo Joe, Joe Schmo says, <laughs> no, Tom, go into that fight high as fuck. <laughs> Uh, Cap says, I have heard Carlos, he goes on about Jersey Jim being held down and, and being held down and stuff. Mm, mm -hmm. But yeah, that's, I mean, I get the basics of what he's saying. It's like, yeah, yeah, uh, Jersey Here Jim and is. stuff. 
And but like, still, I, I'm yeah. like, I'm too busy killing you or trying busy to dodging <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to listen to what he's saying. That should be it. Dogbone is with us. Hey, Dogbone, what's going on, man? Hello and welcome back. What's that viewer count up to? 26. 26. <laughs> Talking about going into the Carlos fight, uh, not sober. Uh, Tom says, I figured it was immersive since Carlos hits Deke with some drugs. <laughs> I mean, you know, it is what it is. Oh, and you can actually also hear Boozer during the Carlos fight. Yes. I, yeah. I think I had, her, but again, it's like, I'm not focused on that. Yeah. Uh, Boozer doesn't say anything important, though. Just, what's happening? And <laughs> shit like that. Uh, CJ says, Carlos is upset about what happened to him. Understandable. But he did kill a member of the MC, hence why he was getting <laughs> kicked out. <laughs> 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 You all right? Rex may be dying. He's okay, ready. More water. That's fucked up. I've actually been feeling a lot better today. As always, far as how I feel. Rest your voice. It's always at the end of the day that uh, your yeah, throat... I mean, right. I can feel it with mine. We were talking before. I was doing a lot of talking. Right. <laughs> trying to understand Fallout and talking about... We're talking about Uncharted and, and uh, Days Gone and Fallout. Differences and, in gameplay loops and yeah. stuff. Um, and uh, yeah, I could start to feel my voice was kind of going a little bit. That's it. Crap. Yeah, Cap says, hard, to me for, hard for me to multitask during the Carlos fight. Tom says, I've heard some of the things but can't remember what he says. Uh, and he, Tom also says, no, I just suck. That's why I'm watching Rex for the pro <laughs> strats. Uh, Cap says, be patient. Don't button mash. You'll get Carlos's pattern of attack pretty easily. Yeah. But if you have low stamina, you do kind of have to hustle a bit. Um, you can't... Every time you dodge, you lose stamina. You use it. You use a little bit of stamina. So if you're playing it safe and like biding your time, you will actually run out of stamina. So you kind of do have to sort you do of hustle have to get a bit. in there. Yeah, actually, I made that mistake myself not too long ago. It's easy to make. Yeah, <clears throat> that's I was I was hanging back, dodge, 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 dodge. Oh shit! Now I'm out of stamina. Fuck. Uh, Tom says, if Rex dies, just load his last save. <laughs> uh, James Guan wants to know: Are you coughing from the ashes of the asteroid? Uh, <laughs> oh, Gaming Today is with us. Hey, Gaming Today, what's up? He, so he sounds so sick. You're just like, hey, Gaming Today, what's uh, yeah, up? Yeah, I'm sorry. Rex I is enthusiastic to say hi to people, but he is losing his voice yeah. pretty badly. I I'm actually going to tell you to shut the fuck up now. I love you. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, I'm actually kind of starting shut to the feel fuck up. not so great, Shh. honestly. Stop talking. Good boy. <laughs> Rex is such a good boy. Um, gaming today is this good life lesson. Think twice before holding down your fellow gang member and burning off their gang tattoo. They just might end up founding a post-apocalyptic <laughs> cult. <laughs> oh, Joe, you found a video of the entire monologue. Think I'll type it out later and put it on the Discord. And the Reddit, probably. Yeah. Fire escape. Oh, are you coughing from the ashes of the asteroid <laughs> because you're a dinosaur? <laughs> I get it now. Oh. <laughs> Maybe so. I'm actually just going to kill my mic so y'all don't have to sit here and listen to me hacking and I was going to say, just mute it. Or move if I have away. anything to say, I'll cue the mic up. Yay, Rex has gone. Oh, no, wait, shit, it's still here. Liston knife. This is it. Gotta get it back to Addy. <laughs> Caps says Claire with the trash talk, knowing that 
Only Rex can give her mean looks. Hey, this is the pro tip I gave you. This hidden loot location. There's a med kit and a Molotov up there. Was there a Molotov there just now? It didn't look like there was. Oh, he picked it up recently. Okay. Uh, Sean St. Clair, do you have any lemon honey lozenges? Those might help with his coughing. Do you want me to go get some cough drops? Addy, I got that knife you were looking for. Thank you, Deacon. You have no idea how bad Would you like me to make you some tea? Tea was, is good. No problem. No? Help. Okay. I'm getting just head shakes. I get Mr. Rex some Dayquil and Nyquil and then some honey. And then so later some honey, winky face. <laughs> Oh, he gets plenty of that. <laughs> uh, Cap says, for me, I found that cold water makes my cough worse. Oh, Ether Glide, rub a bit of Vicks on his chest. Actually, would that make your cough worse? I feel like that might make your cough worse. Oh, it makes it more productive, Rex is saying. him turn around and he was like, where's my master? Oh, he's behind me shooting me in the ass. Uh, Joe is saying throat, throat coat tea with some honey thrown in is actually the best shit. Um, every single person I know who's used it, uh, oh sorry, every theatre person I know has used it during performances when sick. Joe says, in all caps, shot in the ass. I don't know if he wants me to sing it in the Bon Jovi um, melody. <laughs> CJ says, wolf be like, not the face. Joe says, oh my god, Claire, do it. Shot in the ass, and you're to blame. You give wolfies a bad name. Hey, someone's here. <laughs> Hold on, I think I, I was know. quite Open up. <laughs> on the right note there, but close enough. First. Hey, good to see you. Hot green tea with honey also works, according to Sean. I think basically fluids hey. and, and honey. Or oh. honey. Here's that knife you were looking for. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Cap's giving me... Oh, rock emojis. Uh, Ether Glide says, I watched one on YouTube who used to put toothpaste on her feet. Not sure why. Something to do with a cold, I think. <laughs> I'll just put some toothpaste on your feet later. Uh, Deacon San John is with us. Says he's going to be okay. You want to use my mic? No, I'm good. Hello. Deacon, oh. Deacon San John? Yep. Deacon San John. What's and up? And Mark hello? Brewington and Miranda Satin. And Mark and Miranda. Hello and welcome, folks. Uh, Claire, if you would please explain why my mic is mostly off tonight. Yes, I will. Uh, so Rex is feeling under the weather. He is very close to losing his voice. So he is resting as much as he can. He's saying hi and we'll pop in with occasional little explanations on what he's doing. But I am here to entertain you all with the lovely sound of my lovely voice. Oh, look, a skill point. Rex is going to use his skill point for something. Maybe. Oh, you did? Okay. I was looking at the chat. <laughs> Is 
Ether Glider's gone to find that toothpaste on the feet thing. Uh, <laughs> hey, man. Hey, how's it going? Oh, and uh, James oh, is letting Miranda know that I am known as Chair Hi. in today's stream. <laughs> Not Claire. Let me know if you need anything. <laughs> Rex says, you fuck up one time. Was that guy trying to get run over? Mark says, take it easy, Rex. Feel better soon, bro. Yeah. How's it going? Uh, Deacon hey, San John is saying, by the way, waiting for Days Gone 2. Fuck yeah. Yep. We all are. That's nice. Maybe one day. Okay. Oh shit, Dandy Denny is with us. Thanks for stopping by. I'll be around. I worked at the Humane Society. Oh shit, we're getting some uh, mad facts in the chat about propolis honey, which is a certain type of honey. Um, made here right in right here in Colorado. You can get it at farmers markets sometimes or just order it online. It is made by bees from tree and plant resins and is known for its remarkable ability to assist in the fight against viruses, bacteria, microbes, and fungus. It's also a powerful antihistamine. Ideal for anyone suffering from seasonal allergies. So while Rex is driving, I just want to do a little reminder to everyone right now, if you wouldn't mind, just hit like on this video. Um, it really does help the algorithm. If you haven't subscribed, please hit subscribe. It makes Rex happy. Uh, and also then you'll get notifications as to when he's streaming next. Uh, if you're curious to know his stream schedule, it is in the description of the video. Pretty much the description of any live streams that he's doing. Uh, you'll see the full weekly schedule there. Um, and uh, yeah, we have some links that Joe is probably about to drop in the chat. The first one is going to be buymeacoffee.com slash Rex. If you want to become a channel member or want to support okay, the channel, this has be it. you can go to that link. Yes. Here it is up on the screen right now. Um, and uh, memberships start at a dollar a month. One dollar a month. That's 12 bucks a year. That is really not a lot of money, but you can support the wonderful, the magnificent Spornicus Rex. And there are various other tiers as well of membership. You get different perks. You can get uh, t-shirts and stickers and things like that. Um, so yeah, go check out buymeacoffee.com slash Rex. That will give you all the info you need. And you can also just do a one-time contribution if you don't want to do a monthly subscription. You can just throw a little money in the tip jar and that helps too. It's all really appreciated. <clears throat> the next link that um, Joe has put in there is for... Uh, actually, for the Discord, uh, we don't have that appearing on screen. Just go click that link. Join our Discord server. And then here's the merch link, daysgonepodcast.threadless.com. That's where you can go to get the official Spornicus Rex merch. You can get tees, tanks, long sleeve tees, sweaters, kids' shirts, mugs, stickers, you, buttons, kid? art prints, journals, notebooks, all sorts of cool shit. Um, with Spornicus Rex's beautiful flaming skull face emblazoned upon it. Uh, so yeah, go check it out. There's also three Days Gone inspired designs. There's the Drifter Arsenal design, which is a layout of a bunch of weapons and artifacts from the game. There's the Fox Schizo shirt. And then you can also show off your love of Days Gone with our Big Deek Energy uh, design. So you can get that on a mug or a t-shirt or whatever you want to get it on. Uh, so yeah, go check it out. Daysgonepodcast.threadless.com Lisa, where are you? Ah, um, Rex wants me to explain that just then in photo mode he was shown where to park the bike uh, for your quick exit out of this house at the end of this mission. Through here, yeah, so you don't have to fight the bad guys that show up out front. You can just hightail it out the back and be like, peace out, fuckers. Uh, we need to say hello once Rex has finished coughing. Um... Two, where are we? Oh, God damn I got it, you gotta be around here somewhere. Mr. Pilon, 1000 is with us. He says, hey Rex, how's it going? Hey, Mr. Pilon, what's going on? Um, you're not streaming on Saturdays anymore. We actually had technical issues this Saturday. Uh, so yes, he is normally, I'm speaking for him because his voice is really broken right now. It's really fucked up. Um, so we're resting his voice. Uh, but yes, he is streaming on Saturdays. He just missed this last week due to 
uh, it was an OBS issue, right? We're all fuck up with uh, an update on OBS. Uh, who else do we have with us? We have Bowhunter30. This is handwriting. I want to forget. This is my favorite game. Man, I wish the Maker Days gone too. Sounds like something she would write. Your actual story mission jobs for Lost Lake don't reward a lot of trust. But the one that we just did just now, to go take a look at Lisa, awarded by 1200 plus all by itself. Damn. Pretty big. And it's a nothing-y kind of mission as well, because you go, you don't really do anything, you just don't find Lisa. Um, so here you go, here you can see the uh, the red on the mini-map, the, and you can hear the guys outside. Uh, you can just, like, fuck off through the other door and just drive off. Uh, we also need to say hi to Tom Jameson Juicebox. <laughs> Not so hard. Oh, and the bots are with us. Tinder Hot XYZ. <laughs> um, oh shit, we're running behind with the chat. Okay, hang on. I'm going to catch up. Oh, Cap did the introduction. Tom, the juice box, Jameson, in deep voice, because Rex has lost his voice. <laughs> uh, Deacon San John is saying try to use the taser. I, do you, this isn't a new game plus, so you don't have it available yet. Um, also, it's not really the best gun. Certainly not a Rex-style gun. He's nodding. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just putting words in his mouth. Um, ah, so Joe is saying that, um, answering a question from Mr. Pilon, if you want, there should be a setting uh, on YouTube where you can set it to specifically get notifications from Rex's live stream updates channel. Ah, yes, for Discord. That's all we're talking about, for Discord. Yeah, Discord is actually quite um, customizable with what you want to get. Uh, Notifications for. Ooh, a helicopter. Passion Flower is with us! Yo, what's up, chat? Says Passion Flower. Bow Hunter is reminding everyone to please hit that like button. It honestly does help the algorithm and it also just makes Rex feel loved and warm and fluffy. And he needs more of that in his life. <laughs> Cap says, oh wait, okay, two things. Uh, Cap says, if the taser works from 100 meters, Rex will use it. <laughs> um, James says, there's a taser? Don't get too excited, James. Um, right, it's, here. Not, it's not, it's not, can I talk over the cutscene? Like yeah. Did you find anything um, about Sarah about it's not super great. It's, a, it's an Easter egg, a siphon oh, filter yeah. Easter egg. Um, it's Nothing. when you pick up the IPCA tech, time, okay? there's 18 pieces of it, um, usually at the Nero, uh, MMU sites. When you go in, I believe you have to go into New Game Plus. I, I've only done it once, it was a long time ago. But you can use the tech to create, uh, the taser weapon. Um, and it's fun. It's not great as a weapon, but it's fun. I don't even know your name. Deacon, Deacon St. John. Look, Deacon St. John, if you want me to risk my neck helping you find whatever her name, uh, Sarah, then yeah, I'm gonna need you to do something for me. Oh, the Nero gun. Yes, sorry, I just saw you heard the message. Yes, that one. You don't even know my name? Oh, you're gonna know it before we're done, O'Brien. And keep the radio close. It's been right <laughs> Passion here classes. Don't time, tase me, bro. Jesus Christ. How yes, Cap points now? out that equipping the stun gun will mess up your weapon wheel locations. Rex loves that. LOL. So yeah, over here on the right hand side, you can see where you go to choose your SMP9 or whatever sidearm you have. And you can immediately attach and detach your suppressor. When you have the stun gun, it makes that 
right on the weapon wheel have two slots for two different guns, the stun gun up top and your sidearm below that. And then to get the um, yeah, suppressor attached, you have to go right down and then select it again or something like that. It's like a whole, it makes it fucking weird. It makes it weird. Don't do it. Don't use the, the stun gun. Why? Just listen to me. There are several Nero task groups doing work in the field. I need to know what they're doing. Then why don't Dandy you Denny giving them? the uh, whatever her name is comment little eyeballs like, hey. Uh, CJ says, would have to say that the scene with Schizo after getting the TNT is what sets the stage for his betrayal. Deacon told him right then and there that he wouldn't help him. Very important scene, in my opinion. I concur, CJ. I sent you the All right, I will see what I can do. Just get to as many of them as you can. There are active LZs, landing sites, sample drop-off locations. Yeah, yeah, I got it, but you better have something for me, O'Brien. Yeah, yeah, I got it too. Hold on. Brian. Yeah, I'm here. What do you <laughs> Cap says, okay, this fair interpreting Rex's thoughts because he can't talk is like a game of how well do you know your significant oh, other. <laughs> I'm doing okay. He's giving me nods and thumbs up. Jesus, okay. All right. What's going on, O'Brien? Oh, Bo Hunter. <laughs> Bo Hunter has a, an interesting question. Rex versus Claire, who is better at Days Gone. Don't you guys have spies? Oh, Rex points at me, but no. Absolutely, Rex is the better player. Locked out. Yeah, I heard you. Don't lose them. He says, not necessarily better, just different. And I mean, that is what I say about when people join the subreddit and they're like, oh, I'm not really very good at it, or, um, you know, I'm not the best player or something. It's like, well, there's really no way of gauging who is better I have their coordinates um, your radio. You, you know there's no like high score or anything like that what? unless you're doing the challenges Remember, yeah Boris Lab Boris Lab is the best player O'Brien, of challenge mode here. without a doubt uh, I mean he's literally number one ranked in the world so on most of them lot lot almost um, certainly very highly ranked <laughs> Joe says Claire is better at stealthy so play. Rex is better at absolute mayhem. <laughs> He's nodding. He's nodding at that. <laughs> Pocket protector. If we play charades or charades, Rex and Claire will have to be on different teams. So, can I reveal a fun fact about Spawnfish Rex? He's never played charades. You've literally never played it, right? He's familiar with it, but no, he's never played it. So who's better at that game? Me, because he hasn't played it. O'Brien. I don't need to ask. I'm already looking at what records we have about where evacuees were taken. O'Brien out. Just got to be there. Uh, Mr. Pilon is asking if the Spornicus Rex solo server, I assume on Discord, is still active. Not really. No. Um, if you join the <laughs> he says if I knew how to delete it, I would. If you join the Days Gone podcast community Discord, that's the that's the happening place. That's where all the cool kids are hanging out these days. Uh, yes, Cap. At the Days Gone event next year, we will have to play charades and get Rex to play. I'm going to teach him. So yeah, anyone interested, I just mentioned the Days Gone event. We are organizing a Days Gone uh, get-together, just an informal kind of, um, not even a mini convention, just a social gathering of Days Gone fans. Um, it's going to be next year around the anniversary, exact date to be confirmed, uh, but around the anniversary of the release of the game, which is April 26th. Um, and it will be in Denver, Colorado. Exact location to be revealed, to be decided. 
fan sponsored only, not official, none of that. It's literally just a social for this community. Contributions Brian. welcome, Rakes is saying. Um, we will organize all the details uh, in the next again. few months. We'll get that together. We kind of um, came up with the idea oh, oh, months ago, and we didn't want to organize it too far out, uh, but we will be putting together some details for that uh, pretty soon. So, yeah, kind of, I guess, save the date or whatever. Old Lady Deek Geek says, Sometimes I do things that I know would drive Rex and Boris Lev crazy. <laughs> LOL. This if I'm in the mood, I will sit forever she'll hiding, she'll hiding free. out just to pull off a badass Hell stuff. No, me. I don't gotta listen Move. to that bullshit. Fuck yeah, Old Lady Deek Geek. I like that playstyle. You play it however the fuck you want. <laughs> Rex says, Yes, ma'am. Dog Bone says the worst time to have a stroke is when you're in the middle of a game of charades. <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> Imagine if you will, Spodicus Rex playing charades in one of those inflatable T-Rex costumes. He's nodding. He's like, yep, this is going to happen. It's the unauthorized, unofficial Days Gone convention, says Joe Schmo. Fashion Flower suggesting strip charades? <laughs> Dandy Denny has created a new acronym, WWDRC, What Would Drive Rex Crazy? <laughs> Caps as the loser or winner of strip charades would get their toes sucked by Rex. <laughs> I'm not sure how I feel about that. <laughs> Tom says I've been driving home while listening to the live stream and hearing the bike and freakers something. make me Just makes around. the drive way Don't more up. fun. Don't beat her up too bad. Later. Aaron Thompson says, yeah, a bunch of fat hairy blokes playing strip charades. <laughs> hey, I came by to see how the lazy bastard's doing. How you doing, uh, booze man? Are you, are you tired of laying around yet? Yeah, boozer. Hey, you can't come, on, come on, hey, come what's on, going Deacon. on? How's he doing? He needs his rest. <laughs> Miranda says, I usually try the going and blasting method first, but that almost always fails, mostly because I can't aim for shit. So bush hiding it is. Uh, Bo Hunter is asking if someone could post Claire's YouTube. Uh, Joe, if you wouldn't mind just dropping a link into my channel, I am 8-Bit Terror. Um, and Joe will, uh, will drop a link in there. Oh, I can actually just, okay. I can say, I'm logged in as right. me. I can just no, type, uh, no, hi. There we go. Deacon. I just Deacon. typed Deacon. hi in the chat. <laughs> you I can find you my channel that way. I see that look yes. in your eyes, but you know what? You go right ahead, but you do it out there. Daddy, go. I can... Look, <sighs> there is nothing else Thank you, you can Joe. do. Please, just go home. Go home, Deacon. But yeah, Bow Hunter, if you're interested, I stream pretty much every day of the week, uh, Monday through Friday. I'm currently doing Fallout New Vegas, uh, but it will be going back to Days Gone pretty soon. Uh, that's in the mornings, 8 a.m. Mountain. And then, uh, let's see, Friday, no, Sundays, I do um, Scary Sundays. I'm doing Blair Witch Game. He needs a few and then I have a couple times when I'm on the Spawnicus Rex channel. Uh, Tuesdays we play The Last of Us, Fridays we play Dying Light as a co-op, and obviously I help out with the live streams on Wednesdays. Just, just listen. So yeah, a couple of months busy. Back, this drifter comes into camp, telling all kind of crazy stories. Said he worked at the airport, was on the ground back in Farewell when shit went down. One night, they were expecting a flight in from Portland, only it never shows up. The plane... 
Thomas doing the half of the Red Cross. <laughs> Thomas saying, send in your foot pics today. Yeah. Um, and it. Sean says, that's the yes. wrong type. Wrong Dr. type of freak. Sheep. Cargo hold full <laughs> of it. Maybe even some of those uh, anti uh, whatever the fucks. Antibiotics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit like that. Just like that. Where? Hey, keep your voice down, will you? Let's talk inside. So this drifter, he's working in the control tower when the plane disappears off the radar. Poof. Now you see it, now you don't. Right about here. South of Mount Washington. That's what he said. It came down intact. <laughs> CJ the swaggins, because those walkers next level. Fuck yeah. The guys got to listen to the pilot bleeding out from a broken pelvis on the ground. Okay, so you haven't sent anyone to find Old Lady us. Deep Geek says, I do the nope, go in blasting, go out running for my life method. Iron Mike, what's the... Oh, right. Rippers. <laughs> you catch on quick. Everything west of the Iron Ridge here belongs to Carlos. Captain Maybe Caffeine says first rule of day is gone. Like Always it. have a backup plan. You go over there and you get caught, you head north, brother. Otherwise, Iron Mike's treaty with rest and peace goes... Okay, yeah, no, like no, I get it, I get it. Let me ask you a question. Bohunter says, go into place and days this? gone oh, and watch yeah. you, buddy. First love off, your content. I'm not telling you shit. You remember that? Second off, you're a goddamn drifter. What am I supposed to do? Follow you around like I'm your little bitch? Keep your ass out of trouble? All right. I have things to do. <laughs> Old Lady Deke keeps us back at plans are for pussies. Guy, <laughs> Danny Jenny says, alive. expect the unexpected. Like everybody else. <sighs> hey. You do what you gotta do. At the end of the day, that's all we got. Do you know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying, Schizo. Keep your radio close. I'll be in touch. <laughs> Passion Plow says Schizo is a freak. Peeping and lurking. Look at all those beautiful patches on your jacket, on your vest there. So for anyone yes, wondering, uh, I'm going to explain this for on Rex's behalf. The um, the patches all over his jacket, these, these are one in challenge mode, and they actually apply immediate perks in the game. Uh, so there's things like your health is increased, um, the refueling time for the bike, the uh, penetration, I think, bullet penetration is increased. Uh, I don't have many of them myself, so I don't remember what some of them are. Um, but yeah, all those nifty little patches, they all award in-game, immediate in-game bonuses. And if you have, uh, like, bronze or silver or gold, you, it gets better with each level up you go. Now, these are actually a mixture because you have two different saves. You couldn't get your challenge mode um, awards to sync through saving. Right, right. But you have gold in almost all of them, or all of them right now, right? They actually, they have different outlines. You can tell, yeah. That's how I knew you didn't have your correct save. They, the colors of them change. So yeah, that, that gas one, top, top there, the red kind of snake looking gas, that has a silver outline, you have silver in that. The one below it, you have gold in that. No shit. All right, now I had not noticed that. Uh-huh. When you, when you unlock the new patch, when you, you have a bronze one and then you, yeah, you see it when the when it's awarded. It has a very distinct bronze, silver, or gold outline. These are not super clear. I honestly haven't spent enough time looking at them to really know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the outline or some detail on it changes. 
Uh, we have to say hi to Zephyr2904. Zephyr, Zephyr is at exactly the same mission. It is seven minutes to nine, eight fifty three. Correct. Yeah, let's do it. I think you should really rest your voice and just focus on playing, and I will entertain the thirty nine beautiful, lovely people who are with us live right now. Uh huh. <laughs> what is this guy doing? He's like, a camp? Where? Where? I'll go. Don't you laugh. You rest your voice. Don't you dare laugh. <laughs> and just rest it, helping you rest your voice. Stop talking. Shh. Shh. That sounded so sincere. Our beloved viewers and stuff, you know, whatever. <laughs> uh, Passion Player has a very good question. Um, she would like to know, where is the bear trap patch? <laughs> you just gave me a look and nodded. <laughs> oh, you want me to do this? Why well, you still have some voice? I can. I know what it. I know what they say. I know these people. Besides, I hear you say this shout out <laughs> e almost every day. Yeah, I do. <laughs> okay, I'm. Yeah. So we were talking earlier about becoming a channel member, uh, which you can go to buymeacoffee.com/spornicusrex. There is a link on screen. Um, you can either do a one-time contribution if you'd like to just throw a little money in the tip jar, uh, or you can become a channel member, which John starts at there. one dollar. Yeah. A month. So That's here. all it costs. One dollar a month. There are higher yeah, tiers as well. You get different perks depending on the tier you pick. Once Schizo shuts up, you know what I mean? I'm going to do uh, a little no. shout out. Schizo, I don't got a clue. Why don't you spell it out for me? Nice try, <sighs> smartass. Remember, I'm going out on a limb here. Don't make me regret <laughs> it. Anyway, I'll be in touch real right. soon. In the meantime, good, make yourself good night, Schizo. Camp. Prove Iron Mike was right for a change. All right, yeah, sure. so Whatever shout say. outs to channel so members. These awesome out. badasses are members of the Spornicus Rex channel, and they get a shout out on every stream. They are Captain Caffeine, hey, Six of Pain, Boroslav 24 7, Sarah Monster, Floyd Rocker, you know, James Guan, know, Guan Jay Stabby, Catherine Jones, Hani Okashe, uh, Obscured by Ink, Anton G, oh, WD Henderson, and motherfucking Tom yeah, Moose. I meant no such thing. <laughs> All I said was, if you were thinking about taking a ride, or what do you drifters like to call it? A ride in the open road? Now would be a good time to do it. You got me? It's deep. Let him in. Yeah, Schizo, like always, I got you. St. John out. don't really stick to that formula anymore. I've kind of revised that a bit. What I do now is I just use the SMP9 to go north and kill the hordes of Cascades of Belknap so that you can get level 3 with the first camp. Hello. What's going on, Blair? So we're already at the MG45. We already have the MG45 plus a magazine extension for it. So we have... Uh, <laughs> yep. Like the extended mag. We actually have an upgraded MG45 because we've already been level three yep. members camp, so we're actually going to carry that with us. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, Dogbone is taking off. He says that's my bedtime. Good night, all. Good night, Dogbone. Uh, Mr. Pilon, I can answer that question. Uh, yes, this is on the PS5. It does indeed look so good.
Uh, Pops and Blades is with us. Hello. He says, hopefully I haven't missed too much. How is everybody? Good to see you, Pops and Blades. Uh, Rex is resting his voice right now, so he won't be talking too much. Uh, James says, we can barely hear you. Are you speaking? Is your mic off? Oh, you still have the link up as well. He was just talking. He did a whole thing. And he was... <laughs> <laughs> Damn, dude! I've actually—I was telling some shit about what I was doing, leaving camp. And I was. I'll, I can. I was I saying can hi to folks. Actually, I think it is time to call it. I can't even fucking think straight, man. Rex is dying. right I now. got lost on the mission to go find Lisa. I was lost inside the house and was just panning the camera around, trying to remember where to go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> can everyone hear him now? Are we both? Yeah, we're both on. The mic's on. Um, yeah. Yo, your mic is off. We can hear you through mine. Okay. Talking to this one. There you go. My mic should be live. Uh, okay, folks. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and call this one tonight. I actually am really sick. I feel like shit. I can't even think straight. I fucking hate to call it on my favorite stream of the night, my Days Gone stream, but it's it's legit, man. I don't need to be working right now. Uh, yeah. That's all I got. I love you guys. I'm going to get out of here and get better. I'll see y'all next time. Good night. Good night, everyone. Sorry we're cutting it short. Um, Rex will be back hopefully tomorrow night. Uh, it is Thursday, which means it is Thor's Day. Uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Mountain Time. Uh, assuming Rex is feeling up to it. Right now, it's kind of a question mark, but... Hopefully he'll be better after some rest. Um, I'll be back on my channel tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. Mountain Time if anyone wants to come hang out with me. I'm currently playing Fallout New Vegas. Um, uh, yeah, I'm looking at Rex right now. He's practically asleep. All right, we're going to go. Good night, everyone. Thank you for being here.